The CEO of Norfolk Southern Railway was always going to have a tough day in the Senate. This made it worse, touting his company's safety record on the same day as another of his trains derailed in Alabama, the fourth in the last few weeks. The worst of those, and the reason Alan Shaw was testifying, happened in East Palestine, Ohio, a derailment that led to toxic chemicals catching fire, officials later releasing the poisonous fumes into the air to prevent an explosion, but igniting fears of what it was doing to people's health and the health of the environment. On Capitol Hill, an apology and a promise. I'm terribly sorry for the impact this derailment has had on the folks of that community. And yes, it's my personal commitment and Norfolk Southern's commitment that we're going to be there for as long as it takes to help East Palestine thrive and recover. Some senators say that's not enough. What's right is a family that had a home worth $100,000 that is now worth $50,000 will probably never be able to sell that home for $100,000 again. Will you compensate that family for that loss? Senator, I'm committed to do what's right. Erin Stauffer lives near the crash site. She traveled to Washington for the hearing. She says her town is still very much afraid. The EPA is saying the water's fine. We're hearing everything's fine. You know, you can come home, everything's okay. But after seeing that, you know, cloud, it, it doesn't seem okay. Um, there's been some dead fish, um, dead, dead animals found. People are getting sick. Not my family, but some other families are getting sick. So. I mean, there's just a general feeling of just uneasy. There is bipartisan legislation here on Capitol Hill that would mandate increased safety measures and increased fines on railway companies. Well, the CEO said he's not going to back all of those proposals. That means there's likely going to be a big fight, not just with the industry, but with their powerful lobbyists. The bottom line then, it's not clear that America's railways or the communities they pass through are going to be safer anytime soon. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera on Capitol Hill.